In this video we're going to begin setting up our marketing funnel. Uh, but before we can do that we need to actually have something that we can offer in our squeeze page and then that we can leverage in our one-time offer and also in our downsell or our one-time offer light essentially. Now um, what we'll be do using in this example is we will be leveraging a uh, PLR products, more specifically PLR ebooks. The reason we're doing that is uh, PLR, if you don't know, is, stands for private label rights and if you have a PLR product uh, with unrestricted private label rights you can essentially do anything with it that you wish. So you can edit the content, you can add your own affiliate links, you can essentially claim the uh, product as your own as if you created it and you wrote it and so it's a, a great um, a great way of getting started and a great way of implementing this system so what we'll be doing is we will be offering a collection of private label rights uh, products on our squeeze page then what we'll be doing is we will when someone signs up to get those products we'll then display one-time offer. Now the one-time offer in this instance is going to be the collection of ebooks but with the ability to uh, purchase the resale rights to those ebooks so the person can then sell those ebooks themselves so they'll be able to learn from the products and also sell the products on for a profit. So, which is why we will be offering a collection of ebooks. In a lot of cases, you see squeeze pages with just one ebook on offer, uh, and that's fine if you're if you're wanting to do that. Somebody drops in and they're added to your list, but then because you're only offering one, you have nowhere really to go. Whereas by offering a collection of ebooks, you can then offer the resale rights for those ebooks as your one-time offer, and if they choose not to go with that, you can then offer them a, a reduced um, offer which is the down sale or the OTO light uh, and in this case it would be the same offer but with a reduced number of ebooks um, so therefore you're charging a lesser amount which may be um, more of interest to the investor that you've got you know they may be happier spending a bit less money uh, as they build up the relationship with you so you then offer them as say this down sale so I just wanted to give you an example of this in action. So if we go to our browser here, you can see this squeeze page here, and it's offering um, the collection of eBooks. And what we'll be doing is we'll be setting something similar up. This is quite an in-depth uh, squeeze page, and we've got a lot going on. We've got the countdown timer, um, we've got the graphics, we've got the call to actions, and then we've got more in-depth with regards to each of the products. Um, what we'll do is I'll, I'll show you how to set up a, a more simplified version of this but um, at the same time no less uh, effective. So we have as I say the collection of ebooks so if someone would come to this uh, pay offer page um, they would see the ebooks um, obviously they'd be interested in the internet marketing niche and they could then learn as I say from these products so it's got a high perceived value. So people are more likely to um, sign up uh, again than they would if they were just getting offered one ebook. As soon as they've signed up, they'll then be presented with a one-time offer. And again, it will be similar to this. So as I say, we then be then we'd be leveraging the same products, but offering the master resale rights to the products. So the person who's purchasing can learn from the products, but they also get the ability to sell the products on themselves and the products would come with um, sales materials such as uh, sales letters or squeeze pages that kind of thing as well as a master resale rates um, license that they can then use. So they would get presented with this offer whereby they can purchase this, purchase the license and they would then have the ability to sell the products on for a profit. If they chose to go with that, then they'd be taken to the payment page and then they'd be taken to the download page. If they chose to not go with this offer, then they'd be presented with the download the downsell page, 
which is in this case is a light version of the same offer. So rather than the seven books, you would offer um, a license to four of the products. So it's a bit less um, in terms of the products, but it's also less in terms of the amount that you're charging, and that may be more of an interest if someone wants to um, spend a bit less money, uh, but still learn and still profit. So again, you're capturing people who um, maybe aren't willing to spend at a certain level, but they are willing to spend something a bit less. Either way, if they choose not to go ahead with either offer, it's still added to your list and you can still promote to them through your emails. Um, but you've had two opportunities to convert them straight away from a subscriber to a active buyer. So that is the process that we'll be doing essentially. So as I say, this is the, the best way to leverage private label rights content in this format. So the first thing we need to do though is actually find some PLR content, uh, PLR ebooks that we can then leverage and use it in our system and the easiest way to do that is simply to go to Google and type in PLR ebook and you'll then be presented with um, several different options and uh, there's lots of websites that either offer memberships um, to a large collection uh, of PLR material for a monthly fee or they sell individual um, ebooks and products for a one-off price. So there's many different websites that you can choose from and you can have a look at all of them. Uh, just be aware when you're looking at the websites that you're looking for private label rights uh, and you're looking actually for unrestricted private label rights. Those are the types of products that you can do anything with. So for example, if you see something here that's got MR, MRR, that stands for Master Resale Rates, you're looking for um, private label rates. So just be aware of the differences. Uh, if we look at this one, again, this is a, more of a membership uh, website whereby uh, you sign up, you pay a monthly fee and you get um, access to these PLR products each month, um, new products will probably be added and um, that type of thing. They've also got a free membership level and you can upgrade to a, a paid membership level where you get access to more products. So there's lots of different options out there. Uh, so as I say, you can just put in a simple search for PLR ebook, uh, put in a search for unrestricted, if we can spell it right, uh, unrestricted PLR ebooks. Again, you have um, different websites that you can check with various offers. Um, you know, some are offer free and some are offer paid. So it's really just a simple case of going through the web, uh, putting a search for PLR ebooks, unrestricted PLR ebooks, and see what's available. Um, you can also go to the Warrior Forum as well and search there. There's um, always people that are promoting and selling PLR products and PLR ebooks on that. Uh, and have a look and see what you get with each package because ideally you're looking for um, the ebook and any um, any sales material that may come along with the ebook as well. So any marketing materials that you can use and leverage because if it comes with that, then it makes life a lot easier for you. So, <laughs> excuse me. So that's essentially it for this video. It's just a quick guide of what we're going to be doing um, in the course, what types of products we're going to be leveraging and using, and different ways to find the products uh, that we can use in our system. So once you've found some PLR ebooks that you can use, then what we'll do is we will 
go through the process of um, setting up our squeeze page um, and setting up our sales funnel and also um, editing our PLR ebooks because we can include within the ebooks themselves we can include links to products and to affiliate products so that we can maximize our revenue and get um, affiliate sales from that way as people read the ebooks um, and click on the links. Okay, so that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next.